What's up guys, I am back with part 4 for this tutorial on how to build a police station. This will be the final part and all we have left to do are the interior furnishings for the building. And then I'm also going to be building the police SUV in the garage. All right, I gathered up some quick blocks to start out with. So I have some gray concrete, quartz stairs, quartz slabs, jungle doors, sea lanterns, iron trap doors, hoppers, weighted pressure plates, and then some stone buttons. So I'll go ahead and actually just start in the bathrooms first. I have my jungle doors. I'll go from the inside and just place all of these at the original build, I just had some openings here, but I decided to just actually make the actual Minecraft doors instead. Since they are bathrooms after all, we could go ahead and actually add an upside down quartz stair above these to add a little bit more as well. Makes the doors possibly look a little bit bigger. Okay, here in the ceilings, we could do some of our lights. So I'll go back here first. I'll leave two spaces and then I'll have a sea lantern. Leave two spaces here. I'll have a sea lantern. Then maybe just one more in the middle. We'll cover these up with iron trap doors. Then let's go ahead and do some of the lights here in the bathroom. I could maybe just have one here in the middle. Iron trap door. We'll leave it at that. I don't think that should melt the ice either. So we should be good. So just right in the middle, cover it up. If it ends up melting the ice, we could just shift it over. Although I don't think it should. I don't know why I, I pressed the wrong button. I meant to open that, I just deleted it. Okay, now we'll head back to the front ones. We'll do this bathroom first. It's gonna be the same thing throughout all of them. So we have some quartz stairs. We'll place one upside down on each side. We'll have a hopper in the middle. Then we'll have our toilet, which we actually need to grab. We'll switch this out for now. We need to grab a block of quartz. So a full block of quartz, a slab on top, upside down quartz stair, a weighted pressure plate on top of that, and then a stone button on the left. Okay. Now let's go to this bathroom. We'll do the same thing. Upside down quartz stair, a hopper. Then block of quartz, upside down quartz stair again, a slab, stone button, weighted pressure plate. All right, we just got to do it two more times. Now, after we start doing this side, you can see how it actually looks like a mirror. So if we do this toilet, if you look in the mirror, it looks like that toilet right there is actually this toilet. Looks like this sink right here is like that sink. You know what I mean? It looks like a mirror. I think that's a really cool feature and I just I wish I could do stuff like this in some of my other builds but uh there's just not a lot of opportunities like this so I thought this is the perfect way to actually uh do the bathrooms for this build so this is the original design I came up with and I think it was a really good idea but yeah I think that is everything for the bathrooms very simple and uh, yeah i guess to add a little bit of extra light in here we could delete this fill it in with a strip of sea lanterns then we could grab maybe just like some gray carpet or whatever carpet you want and cover this up so it adds a little bit of extra light we'll leave it at that okay let me grab that again we actually might not need that but uh there we go we have the bathroom area done We'll head on it to this main area next, which is gonna be very simple. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. So we, we'll start with the lights first. I'm just wanna put some sea lanterns here in the ceiling. So maybe one right here in that corner, one right there. Then we'll have, we'll skip over two blocks, have another one, skip over two, have another one, skip over two, have another one. Do the same on this side. Cover these all up with iron trap doors. Okay, that looks good. Maybe you could have some right down the middle if you want. I'm not worried about it. Let's go ahead and have another one here and another one here. 
All right. And then... Let's see. I want to try to even them all out. Let's have another one right around here. If it's not evened out, it's all good. Then I'll just have some more here. So it's not going to be even, but just so we have enough light. Still looks pretty good though. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and start doing the desk. Let me just clear all of this. Great concrete. And then uh, we need a quartz stair. Maybe even like a weighted pressure plate. Add a little bit of more detail. Then we'll grab like a flower pot with a fern. All right. So we'll have the desk right here. This is where I had it in the original build. Not really sure how I did it, but we'll have three blocks there. Then we'll maybe just bring this across. So we can have a stair like this and then a stair like this. So it's like a high chair. So yeah, the original build, I actually only had like one chair here. We'll have like two people just keeping this area occupied. If anybody walks in, maybe report something, they'll just be sitting there. We'll have a flower pot right there in the corner. We'll have a weighted pressure plate to maybe act as like a stack of papers or something. All right. Now here to give off more light, we'll carve out a hole and we'll have like a really big carpet here. So cut out a big hole, fill all of this in with sea lanterns. So let me grab the sea lanterns. Look at that new block. Yeah, they came out with new blocks in case you didn't know. That's uh, a little weird looking. Okay, uh, what am I doing? Uh, sea lanterns, getting off track. We'll completely fill this hole in. And then it should be enough light for this main entrance. The ceilings are really tall in here, so we definitely need these lights here in the floors to try and even it out a little bit. Okay, let me clear that. What's my potion? Ooh, my potion's running low. Let me uh, grab uh, that. Okay. And then, let me do... Gray carpet, light gray carpet, maybe white carpet. We'll, we'll do a cool little design here. We'll start the gray. All right. And then we'll do the light gray. Okay, and then we'll do the white. All right. There we go. That's looking pretty good. All right. Now, to add maybe a little bit of color, let's grab a block of spruce wood. Then we'll do some jungled trap doors. Where are the jungle trap doors? Jungle trap doors, where are you? Oh, right here. And then we'll grab some oak leaves. Add a little bit of greenery in the main room. So we'll have a block of spruce wood, cover up the sides with jungle trap doors, make this like three blocks in height. We'll do the same in this corner as well. Okay. And I think that'll be it for those. We could possibly have a small table here. So we'll grab quartz stair, quartz slab. Do something like that. On top of it, we could have maybe a flower pot. I'll grab it. Can we use this? That's a new flower. We'll have that there. Then we'll just have a lamp. So an end rod and then like a gray concrete block. Okay. Let me get rid of my potion to see how bright it is in here. Not too bad. Obviously, it's still dark up there. Ignore that. But this section looks pretty good to me. I could easily see. Alrighty then, and then we have this. Oh, this is a little bit dark. That's only one block thick, yeah. Alright, I guess if anything... Let's go ahead... I don't know, it's not that dark. I could see if you guys don't mind this, don't worry about it. But we could grab... If I freaking remember how this is organized, the sea lantern. I always forget where everything is. And I'll grab maybe like a light gray concrete block. We'll put a sea lantern right there in the floor, covered up with a simple block of carpet. 
don't need to do this if you're fine with how bright it is in here, but it was a little bit dark. Whoops. Okay. This is an exterior wall, right? Oh, we could have had something here. You could have had something here. You could have had like a painting in the wall there to give off extra light. So fill it in with like sea lanterns, cover it up with the painting. I'm not going to do that though, but you could if you want to. Maybe fill it in a little bit, add a little bit more to the bathrooms. All right. Now we'll head on into the garage area. We'll leave the garage area last since we have the police SUV in there. And let me grab the potion of uh, night vision again. And maybe we could add a little bit of light here down the staircase. I actually delete all of these. I'll fill this in with sea lanterns. And I'll cover it up with gray carpet. Okay, I think that'll be fine. Let me actually get rid of my potion now to see how bright that actually made it. All right, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty evened out. Okay, now down here, it's dark. Let me grab this again. We'll put some lights in the ceiling. I'll start back here. We'll have one, skip over two, have one, just skip over two each time. Doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, I wanna bring this over one. So we'll do that, that, uh, that. So two spaces here, then we could skip every two blocks. Okay. Got it? So two spaces, skip every two blocks. Then we're left with two spaces here. So it's all evened out. Then you could grab iron trap doors just to cover these up. I actually looked back at this build, obviously, <laughs> to rebuild it. And I actually didn't end up adding any trap doors to cover up my sea lanterns. I just left them as they were. All right. Now here, we could just have a light in whichever corner you want. It's not going to be even, but just enough light. Just add a light in the ceiling so that's enough light for the jail cell. So just one in each, whoops, one in each uh, room should be fine. That should be plenty. Cover these all up with an iron trap door. So keep in mind, these aren't like actual gel cells. They're kind of like temporary gel cells where you would like stay overnight or something. An actual gel cell would be in a prison. Okay, then let's go ahead and grab a quartz stair and a quartz slab. We'll have a table back here. And then we could actually have a hole right down the middle. We'll fill this in with sea lanterns and we'll just cover it up with a layer of gray carpet. So similar to what we did in the bathroom hallway. Down here, I'll just have a flower pot with maybe like a blue orchid. All right, now let's do the beds. So at the original build, I just had like a normal bed, but in this case, since they are gel beds, we could go ahead and grab some quartz slabs. If your snow it melts, I wouldn't recommend using snow. I would just recommend um, maybe some white carpet because I know you guys let me know when the snow melts. And let's go ahead and maybe just grab some... We'll do... What color should we have? I'll do gray carpet. So I just want like a floating bed like this. And then we'll have the carp or the um, pillows up there. And then this will be like the blanket. So that'll be the bed. So yeah, uh, definitely if your snow melts, uh, then that sea lantern will be melting it. It's actually probably going to melt either way for me. But I don't know. I'm not really too worried about it. Let's go ahead. Maybe we can move it over. Let's have another bed right here. Snow and then some gray carpet okay let's do the same on this side so we'll put these beds on the left we're just putting them all on the left side so we'll go over here some slabs snow carpet do the same on this side so it's all on the left side
Okay. That'll be all good. I think those look a lot better than what I had before. And that's all I'm going to have down here. If your snow does melt once again, just feel free to maybe just have some white carpet here. So it'll look... It, the, uh, the snow looks more like pillows, but if you need to, you could just have some white carpet like that if it does melt. Uh, if your snow is melting, I was told that you could possibly turn weather cycle off so it doesn't rain anymore and then the snow stops melting. I'm not sure if that's the case for the inside, but you could always just give it a try. So you could just turn weather cycle off. You could go to host options. You might have to enable host options before you start up your game as well. And then you could uncheck uh, weather cycle, which is right here. Make sure the weather is clear as well. Maybe I could try to make it rain. Okay, it's raining right now. Let me see if the snow will actually... Let's put the snow out here. This is a little test. Put the snow right there. It is raining. Let's see if it actually melts it. Oh, wait. I never turned... Let me check weather cycle now. I checked weather cycle. It still hasn't melted for me. So I'm not sure how you could actually prevent your snow from melting. I don't know what I did. Uh, these are all my settings and stuff. And I just... Uh, my snow doesn't melt. I don't know why. Let's see if any of it melted down here. That's all good. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. Anyway... Let's head on up to the second floor. We'll start doing, these are gonna be like little office spaces. Then after we do this, we'll go back down into the garage, do the police SUV, and then we are done with the police station build. All right, for the office spaces, I went ahead and grabbed some blocks of gray concrete, stone pressure plates, stone buttons, paintings, Maybe some spruce trap doors. Not sure if we're going to need these, but I would grab them just in case. And then some quartz stairs. All right, we'll start with the gray concrete first. We'll maybe place two blocks here in the corner. Bring it over three. Actually, bring it over four and then place another block here. So we have three spaces here in the middle. It's five in total. We'll do one, two, three, four. Then another one is there. We'll have a court stair like that. So this is gonna be a desk, this is gonna be a desk. We'll do the same on this side. So we'll just match it up. And we'll actually add one extra one over here since we have enough space. And is this too, yep, this one's too big. Now let's have a court stair. Uh, actually, if you wanted to, you could have another desk here like that then maybe what we could do we'll leave it like that just like that okay now let's start doing the computers we'll start with if i have a painting here so i can play i could place a painting here up against these slabs so we don't actually need the trap doors let's go ahead and have a painting right there we'll have another one here then we'll do the same on, we have to actually cover that top up. So I'm just going to do this for all of the other spaces. Just got two more. So this one, and then this one. Okay, now let's add our stone pressure plate in front of those. And then to the right of it, we'll have our stone button which is going to be sideways but that's okay the only one that actually worked out is this one but all of these other ones are fine no biggie okay now i almost forgot we actually have to add our lights so we'll actually have a strip right down here so we'll delete all of this we'll have a strip of uh what are they sea lanterns so we'll fill this in Okay, and then back here, we can maybe just have a little table to give off some light. Or we could actually have some more, another desk, a few more desks. So one, two, three, four, boom. Here, let's delete this one. Then we could go right here and right here. 
Okay, so we'll do it like that. We'll have two more desks over here. So same design as we did before. There we go. That'll be all good. Let's bring this a little bit further. I have a sea lantern, two more sea lanterns there. Let's grab, I'll just do, oh, I don't want to do light gray. I'll do white this time, maybe. Okay. We could have a bush right here to add, uh, it'll be a little uneven. I don't want to do that then. Okay. That looks all good. So now to give off some extra light, let's grab an N rod and maybe just like a light gray concrete block or we do, we'll, we'll do white concrete. So I'll add one right here, maybe another one here and another one here. We'll do the same for all of these as well. If this is too many lamps for you, you don't need this many, but I'm just trying to give off as much light as possible. You know what? It doesn't look that bad. I think that looks good. Okay. And then we just have to do our lights in the ceiling. We could have something right here, but that could be fine. So yeah, let's grab our sea lanterns again and iron trap doors. We'll just go in the corner. We'll have one here, skip over two here, skip over two here. All right, that'll be fine. It's a little bit uneven, but it's all good. So I started with one space here. And then we left off with two spaces here, which is all good. Let's do this. Now, what if we skip two spaces for all of these? That'll be fine. Okay. So two spaces, two spaces. Wait, what is this? That is outside. Okay. We cannot have lights right here. So we're going to have to do something a little bit different there. But we could continue them along right here. So yeah, maybe I could have added an extra layer and brought these ceilings down so we could have lights in the ceilings. We were able to do it. Oh, we can't do it here actually. Delete that. And we can't do it here, but we could do it. Oh, can't do it there as well. So they're just right here in this section. I did even, literally didn't even notice. Okay, so then for this area, honestly, these lamps might bring out enough light for this section. Okay, it's a little bit dark. Definitely right here. I could have some sea lanterns here in that area. That actually brightened it up a lot. We'll cover that up with some more white carpet. All up here is actually pretty bright. Don't need to add anything there. This staircase is a little bit dark. So we could actually add, let's see. Yeah, we could add some paintings here. So I'll do another one right there like that. Then another one right, can't do one there. So we'll have some paintings here. Sea lantern, grab a painting. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Okay. It's a little dark here. Can we have a painting here? Yes, we can. We'll do that. I don't like that one. There we go. That'll be all good. That add a little bit of extra light. So I would say the only spot that's really dark is maybe this corner here. If we got rid of that block, it would brighten it up, but I don't want to do that. Although I think that'll be fine. I think that, I think it's all good. Looks good. Okay. Now let's head on into the garage. Let me just grab my potion one more time. And I actually think I'm going to do a little mini tour of this police station after we have it done. I was thinking about doing an actual tour video, but I don't think it's necessary. All right, let me grab some sea lanterns and then the iron trap doors. 
Come on, come on. They're here. Now let's look for them right there. And then we need some white concrete. All right. So we'll have a hole that's two blocks deep here and a hole that's two blocks deep here. Fill in that second layer with a sea lantern, cover up or replace that dirt with white concrete, then cover these up with iron trap doors so they're on the same layer as these floors here. We'll do this as well. Replace that dirt with white concrete, add your iron trap doors. Do this section. Whoops, white concrete, then the, the doors. All right. Then maybe we could have another light here and here. Okay. Then let's do one here, two here. And two here, and we'll leave it at that. Let's replace this with white concrete. I'll actually have two here as well. Cover these up. Oh yeah, then we could put some lights in the ceilings as well. So I'll have... Boom, 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 and boom. Is this good? Okay. Oh, whoa. Didn't mean to do that. Sea lanterns. Cover them up with iron trap doors. Do this section. We'll just have them like this. And then this section. So just in each corner. And that'll be fine. All right, so now we have the lights for the garage all done. I'll just get rid of my potion now. Should be good. Should be able to see. All right, so now we'll start or we'll finish off this tutorial with the police SUV, which is going to be right here. So let me just gather up all of the blocks for it. Okay, so I gathered up some of the blocks for the SUV. So I have some quartz stairs, black concrete, stone buttons, black stained glass, black stained glass panes, blue carpet, red carpet, white carpet, and then some quartz slabs. We are going to be grabbing a few more, but just for right now, this is what we will worry about. So we'll start with our black concrete first, which is going to be used for the tires. So I want to place a block, maybe just like right around here and here, leaving one space in the middle. All right, then we'll skip back three. So we're on the fourth block. So we have three spaces in between them. So those are going to be the tires. On the sides, you can have a stone button. Okay, so it's just like lined up right in the center of the garage. And then I left two spaces away from this back wall. So now you can switch to your quartz slabs. We'll have three here in the front. Then we'll have upside down quartz stairs in between the tires on the sides and a upward quartz stair here in the back in between that empty space. Uh, for the rest of this, we'll go ahead and just have some more quartz slabs. Okay, now let's have another stair facing upward on top of that upside down stair. Oh wait, no, this is an upward stair. This is an upside down stair, my bad. So we'll leave it at that for now. Okay, now on top of these upside down quartz stairs, we are going to have some more upside down quartz stairs. Let's actually do, this is gonna form a full block of quartz back here on top of these tires, and then we can have some more upside down quartz stairs. Okay, then we're gonna have some slabs here in the front on the right and left side. Right down the middle is gonna form a full block. Then we can have some more, like a full block there again. You can switch to your black stained glass. Full blocks just wrapped around the edge like that. Then you could actually just have your black stained glass panes here at the front on each side. Switch to your slabs, your quartz slabs. Add a layer on top of this glass. Make sure to overhang it. One extra block here in the front. And then we're gonna have another extra layer on top of that. Then you could do the 
white, red, and blue carpet for the lights to act as the lights on the top. Okay. Now that is going to be it for the blocks that we have. Let's then grab some item frames. We could maybe grab whatever sign you want. I'll just use maybe the spruce. And then we'll also use a block of redstone and then some more sea lanterns. So here at the front, we'll have an item frame, then a sea lantern, and maybe we could cover it up with a sign like that. So you have to place it on top or like uh, next to up against the slabs. Okay, then let's go to the back. We're gonna have an item frame, a block of redstone, and right up against on the side of the full block, we'll have our sign again. Okay, and that is going to be it for the police vehicle. Looks good. And now that is also going to be it for this tutorial on how to build this police station. I'll head back up to the front. We could do a quick little mini tour and then that'll be it for this video. All right, so quick little mini tour. So I'm currently at the front side of the build and I'll just like do a flyby all the way around, make our way to the garage area. All right, now we are at the back. So yeah, uh, since this, considering this is one of like my older builds, I still think it's really nice. I'm surprised with this uh, design. I'm really happy with it. And yeah, it was just the first time I ended up building it. Wasn't really explained that well. It was just like very fast, like really, really fast. Uh, but it was one of my first tutorials and hopefully it was a lot easier to follow it now. So originally there were like two 20 minute parts. Now I split it into four, which I don't know how long each one is, but yeah, this is the exterior. We have the helicopter up here as well. Looks good. Okay, let's head back down. We go in to the entrance. This is maybe where you report something. And then uh, we walk through here. We have some bathrooms over here just in case if you're like waiting or something. All right, so yeah, we have the bathrooms. Very simple. Not much to it. Okay. And then we'll head on into the garage. This is where the police SUV is. All right. Head on into the basement. This is where the temporary jail cells are. If you're like staying overnight or something. Okay. That's it for the basement. Head back up. Then we'll head on up to the second floor. This is just where maybe some people are on the computers doing some work. I'm not really sure what exactly. Maybe just like a... I uh, can't think of it, like investigating, like doing like some type of investigations or something. Okay, so that is this area. And then we'll head on up and then we have the rooftop which leads in to, or leads to the helipad where the helicopter is. So that's a quick little mini tour for you guys. And yeah, that'll be it for this tutorial on how to build this police station. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this tutorial on how to build this police station and if this did help you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.